analyzed federal election data and found more than a thousand ballots were rejected here in Pima County in the 2018 general election. So what happens if your ballot is rejected? Will you ever find out? Alexis Burdine has the answers in tonight's News 4 Tucson investigation into Arizona's mail-in ballot rejection rates. Make a mistake on your ballot, it could cost you your vote. More than 8,000. That's how many Arizonans mail-in ballots were rejected in the 2018 general election. Digging into federal election data, we found Cochise and Santa Cruz counties had some of the biggest rejection percentages. Pima County had the second largest number of rejected ballots. 1,216 Pima County voters, mail-in ballots were labeled rejected. That's only around 0.4%. But what if it was your vote? What if it is your vote in the upcoming election? What is a rejected ballot? I don't like your word rejected. Pima County's recorder says some ballots have issues. They're not all rejected. We reach out to the voter. If they don't in, you know, include the ballot affidavit, we will send them a second ballot. As we get closer to election day, it'll be too late to send them another ballot. So we give them, we call the voter. Saying you can still vote in person at an early voting site or on a provisional ballot at your assigned polling location. Nearly 400 Santa Cruz County voters mail-in ballots were rejected. That's about 3.8%. The national average was less than 1%. 2.2% of Cochise County's voters mail-in ballots were rejected. At a 2.2%, almost all of that is just undeliverable mail. Cochise County's recorder says they started using a new system. It coded some of the ballots as rejected, then undeliverable, instead of just undeliverable. The post office tried to deliver it, and it was unable to deliver it, and then they, they sent it back to me. Why are ballots rejected? A couple of things. Uh, received too late, uh, mismatched signature, no signature at all. Don't use red pens, Sharpies, or pencils. Do use a black or blue pen. Make sure your signature matches your state ID. Most Arizona County's rejection rates were less than 1%. Greenlee's was 4.5. Santa Cruz was 3.8. Gila was 3.2. And Apache was 3. Apache County's deputy recorder says a large portion of their rejected ballots were also returned as undeliverable. When the ballot comes back undeliverable, we log it in the system and we have to reject the ballot because we can't have a live ballot floating around. If someone didn't get their ballot or wants to change their vote, the first ballot must be rejected before a second is sent. If the post office can't deliver a ballot, he says it's usually because voters forgot to update their address. Even if they have a forwarding address, it comes back as undeliverable. Are you alerted if your ballot is rejected? You're alerted if you forgot a step. That's if they can figure out who you are. If they just have the yellow envelope with a ballot and no return address, we don't know who it is. Include your phone number when sending in your ballot. This way, the recorder's office can give you a call if there's an issue. And you can give the recorder's office a call if you need to update your home address. You can track your ballot online and find out everything you need to know for filling out your ballot on our website. That's kvoa.com. Investigating for you, Alexis Burdine, News for Tucson.